So Aquarius, it does seem that um, erasing fear um, seems to be a significant message associated with this uh, new moon cycle, uh, which is falling into your sign. So indeed, there might be an intensification of some of your uh, deepest fears and also desires as they seem to be connected in a way um, it feels like in order for you to concretely manifest the desires you long to you have to uh, allow fear to be um, felt as a part of that same experience or that same creative experience so you overcome you know, what's holding you back. I do feel like some of you feel like your wings are being pulled back, which means that your ability to fly, your ability to spread your magic, your personal power, your ideas, your visions, it feels like something is holding that backwards as you wouldn't be able to move and to uh, fully give in to the process that is a, that is of your interest. There's a sense of a process that is of your interest might be finding delays, obstacles, resistance, something you can't quite, you know, um, understand. For some of you, I feel like the obstacle might feel like invisible or there's like this notion of limitation uh, within you that you can't quite, again, understand, define, and so fix. And... I do get a feeling like for many of you that to whom this message pertains is, is connected with the nature of fear of doing something. So you might be, you might want to do something, right? To take a risk, to build something, to start a new enterprise, a new relationship and so forth. But you want to, but you feel like you cannot do that. You can't, um, you know, overcome whatever, you know, fear that same situation triggers out of you. And dealing with that seems to be uh, part of this new moon energy as some of you are here to be, you know, in a way reinvented. I feel like also many of you need to be reinvented but you have been um you know it has been um, a com complicated issue as again the fear holds you back so you try something new and then you shy away from following through that same new endeavor and for those that are having that issue um this is a powerful period to reinvent everything that you feel that about yourself is not in place, that is not right, that is not helping you, that is not evolving. I do get a feeling like, again, makeovers. Makeovers of all senses uh, could help you so, so, so much. And, you know, trying different clothes, trying different, you know, scenarios, places, foods, activities, things that you wouldn't normally do but that you feel attracted to try it's this experimental phase as well and there's nothing wrong with that i feel like some of you judge yourselves criticize yourselves it's like always in the mind putting that you know label that pressure when you should just be um, more in the energy of doing or you know trying at least to actively pursue you know those same desires you want to create even though there's that presence of fear, it's a reality, you still try to do something. Because the more light you spread into that fear, uh, it will no longer hold power over you. Not in the same in the same level that I'm feeling that for some of you it exists. I, I also feel you just feel, you know, um, you know, weird. Uh, there's something here about feeling like um, a, there's something abnormal about you or about your life or about a situation. Let's say that I don't get a feeling like this, even though it's in your sign that this new moon um, energy uh, is giving you, you know, the most fluid, positive, easy experience. I feel like you will be pressured 
to be free from all of this, um, you know, negativity or uh, insecurities. So you will feel those um, those aspects of yourself with more intensity than usual. And so sometimes this can mean that you will again not look at yourself and at your life with the best lens, with the best um, appreciation. And that's kind of dangerous here because delays again. The world is like the world needs you, someone needs you, something needs you, but you can't need them until you figure out what it is that inside of you is putting a stop into that, um, you know, expansion, expansion of your ideas, your magic, your beauty. There's so many things here for you to do, but yet um, you're for some of you have been unable to do. And this, uh, again, also, I feel for others, connects with a need to be free from something else in your life. There are Aquarius here that within this new moon um, energy are also to consider, you know, what they are uh, holding on to that maybe it's not the best source of support right now in your life for your growth. I do feel like there are emotional attachments or attachments to situations that are like long overdue. So there's the sense of being able to kind of cut the cords that maybe bind you emotionally with situations and with people that as for now are more of an obstacle to that pursuit of freedom than of an energy that would include itself as being there for you to help you grow, to help you again in this process of liberation. It's very important to be free during this time frame, to be your own unique self, even if this unique self is undergoing some transformation. So it's a new, maybe perhaps a new version um, of you. But it's still, you know, in order for that to happen as any act of creation, you need to be free, you need to, you know, um, have your space, have your time, have your, um, your way into how this process goes. So if there's anyone or anything interfering in this, um, you know, complex process that it's a complex process on its own. Um, maybe you will be called to do the necessary, again, uh, blocks or boundaries here, to set boundaries until you feel better, readier, you know, and um, sure, assured of what you want. I also feel like some of you just don't, you don't have a lot of certainties right now, and that's okay because the, the lack of certainty, again, ties in with, this reinvention of yourself so as we, you are changing of course that something of your uh, heart or mind will change as well you'll have a change um, in the way you look or in the way you feel about something so you can't make you know clear commitments and decisions because you don't have the full yet you know uh, notion if that's something that you really want or not, or if this is something that you should do this way or that way. So patience seems to be um, a strong issue here so that you can bloom into your full potential. So I hope you, I was able to give you some insight for this um, new moon cycle with this short channeled message. Um, if you'd like to have more, uh, if you'd like to have... Um, a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. I have a special focused on love and relationships going on at the sales price. Um, or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So hopefully we'll see each other soon.